This is gonna be fun convincing you on why I truly love this laptop. And man, this is, this one is, this one's dope. But anyway, let's go ahead and start the video. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I have the ASUS ProArt PX13. Now I wanna give a big shout out to ASUS for sponsoring this video and sending this laptop over. And the first thing you heard is this video is sponsored. Yes, it is, but stay with me. Listen, because this is a truly impressive device. Now the ProArt PX13 is a 13 inch laptop. It's got this nano coating, all black design and look that is really nice prevents it from, of course, getting a lot of, you know, uh, fingerprints and stickiness on the device, which is nice. But overall, I like the look of this laptop. It is super compact, like so, and it is just very flush. You can see the way the hinges, which make, tells you that this is a laptop that can be in very different modes, laptop mode, tent mode, you get the idea on this. Now, it does come with a plethora of ports, and ASUS is not skimping because the product line is meant to be a professional line. Now, you do have on the right-hand side, full USB Type-C, 40 gigabits, USB Type-A, 10 gigabits, and a micro SD card slot. Now, I do wish that it, did, it does come with a full SD card slot. Hopefully, that changes in the future. And then there is a power button. And then on the right-hand side, we do have HDMI 2.1, another USB Type-C, uh, 40 gigabits, bits per second and a headphone jack, vents all around. When you open up the device, you'll find that the RAM isn't upgradable, though your storage is with a 2230 SSD slot and not a full size NVMe. And you do have a massive 73 watt hour battery. It's compact, it's slick. You open it up and reveals this wonderful keyboard, very responsive, nice key travel on there and a touchpad that is nice and centralized, pretty smooth touchpad overall, which also has a dial. Now that dial is built for you to use things um, within the device. And what I love about the dial, it doesn't really take away from the trackpad. It allows you to give you more functionality. So you could use it to say, increase the volume on your desktop or within an app, say like Premiere or Photoshop, you can actually add more controls there. That is pretty cool. But you're like, look, Thunder E, why do you love this laptop? I'm telling you, I really love it. It's the performance. So this comes with an AMD Ryzen AI 9HX370. And that also has an integ integrated graphics of the brand new 890M. But it also comes in an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 or 4060. The variant I have here is a 4050. And AMD talks about the fact that this new chip can do 50 teraflops of MPU performance, 81 teraflops in total under the system, which is great. It is nice, but what does that mean for us? Benchmark numbers, you look at I, my Cinebench R23, this thing is pretty impressive. It is high, those numbers are peak. I love that, but what does that translate to for us in real time? Before we get there, you gotta look at this display. Look at this display. This is a lovely looking display. I've got Gojo and Ghetto here on this wallpaper. This is a 3K display, uh, 508 max brightness, and 100% DCI-P3 accurate. This is ASUS's Lumia display, which is you see on the product lines, and it is lovely. Uh, ASUS also provides software that allows you to go in and customize, you know, just the uh, color and also how this display actually looks and operates. But I have to tell you, I really love the way the display functions. So back to gaming and why that display is important and everything built into this laptop. This laptop, with that kind of performance, what can we get? Now, I decided to look at it in two ways. One, gaming on battery and gaming plugged in to see what we can get on both ends. So I won't even waste my time by trying to describe it. I will just show you. And you can see gameplay from Doom Eternal, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Street Fighter VI, and Cyberpunk 2077 on battery first, and then we'll move over to a plugged in.
Okay, that was impressive on battery. That was pretty impressive. I was able to get some really good numbers from all those games and I liked what I saw. Now, when we move over to plugged in, it should be a whole scenario. And this is the part that you guys have to go ahead and take a look. That was also super impressive. And what's more impressive is the fact that every single game I played at its maximum resolution of the display, not 1080p while I was on battery. This was at 3K resolution, which was great to see. Now, the next question you're gonna ask is what about um, heat dissipation? So you can see that on battery, it actually produced less heat on the system. So that's actually pretty good. And of course, higher when we actually plugged in because of course we use more performance gain up there to about 122 or so. But if you have this on your lap, because of the way the vents are, you don't actually get that much heat below you, which is good to see. So performance wise, this thing really hits the mark. Now, the next question is, what is the battery life hit when you're gaming also just in day-to-day -day tasks? So while gaming, I sat at a 90% while shooting all everything you saw within here. And in terms of gaming on battery, it went down to about 54. And I did play games for about two hours there roughly. So that was pretty good to see on battery. Now on a day-to-day -day use, I would say you're gonna get close to about 10 hours of battery life. Uh, you can push it to, I've gotten about maybe about 11.5. So that's where I am roughly on battery life which is pretty solid. Now this is not, you know, higher at like 15 hours or so, but the performance, getting that kind of performance and then also getting that kind of battery life, I think is quite impressive. Now Asus has a bunch of other things here that you can do with this laptop really adds uh, a lot to it, especially since this is a Copilot PC laptop. So you do have that Copilot button, you hit that, that brings up, of course, Copilot, where you can actually do a lot of things with that, uh, with AI generation, uh, which is pretty cool. But also Asus has some software that allows you to do much more. So things like Musetry, which uh, basically helps you to leverage AI in creative design uh, and doing different things that you want to do, as well as also uh, StoryCube, which allows you to use AI digitally managed assets in terms of images and audio and things like that for you within your system. So those things are nice and a nice complement to what this laptop brings. But what I really love about the laptop is the fact that this is just super compact and it has a lot of power and kind of the battery life that I need from a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is of course the charging brick. It does come with a 200 watt uh, charging adapter, which looks kind of big, but it's pretty light to carry around. You can charge it with a PD charger, but that will be slower uh, with the system itself. It also has Windows Hello, so it will recognize you uh, when you want to actually wake up the device, which is also pretty cool and exciting. I gotta tell you, I'm super excited about this laptop. I love the way it is, but the main part I really love is the price, especially for this kind of performance. So you're thinking a laptop like this usually is maybe over $2,000, right? Wrong. 
this unit here, which I have, which has the Ryzen uh, AI 9 HX370, a 4050, one terabyte of storage and 32 gigabytes of RAM uh, is priced at $1,699. Now, if you go with the 4060, that's priced at $1,999. And honestly, with the 4050, this is truly impressive. I love that. And I think a lot of people will like that too. I know, again, I'm gonna go back and state, yes, this video was sponsored by Asus but the performance I got from the system was truly impressive. That's what has won me over. And I just had to tell you. Now, there are a few things that I wish would change and better. I do wish that it did come with a smaller charging brick or at least they sent in a separate one as well, maybe a smaller one, which sometimes companies do. I also wish it did have a full size SD card slot, not a micro SD. And I do wish that you could actually at least increase your storage on the device because I'm enjoying installing games and playing and eventually that one terabyte will run out. But overall, I really like this laptop. I think it's pretty dope and I think a lot of people will too. So if you have any questions or any comments about the ASUS ProArt PX13, if you wanna pick it up, use the link down below. It is honestly an impressive device and I think a lot of people will like it too. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.